Now we are going to see about DNA. That is deoxyribonucleic acid. A deoxyribonucleic acid is nothing but a molecule that is used in all living organisms and many viruses. DNA is a nucleic acid. Alongside proteins and carbohydrates, nucleic acid compose the three major macromolecules of life. You can see the DNA over here. Deoxyribonucleic acid it gives the genetic information that is genome the package into chromosomes an average eukaryotic cell has about 1000 times more than DNA than an average prokaryotic cell you can see the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell the DNA in a eukaryotic cell is organized into several linear chromosomes whose organisms is much more complex than the single circular DNA molecule in prokaryotic cell. You can see the circular DNA molecule of prokaryote and complex organization of eukaryotic cell over here. Now we are going to see about chromosomes. All eukaryotic cells stores genetic information in chromosomes. Most eukaryotics have between 10 and 50 chromosomes in their body cells. The human cells have 46 chromosomes. It is nearly 23 identical pairs. You can see the chromosomes over here. The chromosomes are composed of a complex of DNA and protein called chromatin that condenses during cell division. The DNA exists as single long double stranded fiber or extending chromosomes entire length. Each unduplicated chromosome contains one DNA molecule which may be several inches long. You can see the cell it has a nucleus instead of the nucleus it has chromosomes let us discuss about homologous homologous chromosomes is nothing but it looks like the same and it controls the same traits it may code for different forms for each trait it is independent origin. Each one was inherited from a different parent. Here you can see the homologous chromosomes. A centromere and homologous chromosomes here. It is a replication of a sister-sister chromatids. Homologous chromosomes have two types. The first one is Diploid, the second one is haploid. The diploid is a cell processing two copies of each chromosome that is human body cells. Whereas a haploid is a cell processing a single copy of each chromosome that is human sex cells. Here you can see the haploid and diploid cells. Now we are going to see about mitosis. Some haploid and diploid cells divided by mitosis. Each new cell receives one copy of every chromosome and that was present in the original cell. You can see the mitosis here. It produces two new cells that are both genetically identical to the original cell. These two cells are genetically identical. You can see the daughter cell over here. Let us see about mitosis and cytokinesis. In the cell cycle, it contains three parts that is first one is interface and another one is mitosis which is nothing but it is a division of the nucleus. The cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm. This three parts is involved in cell cycle you can see over here 
how the cell cycle will be and this phase is called yearly prophase it contains the centrioles and nuclear membrane and inside of the nuclear membrane it has chromosomes you can see the chromosome over here and this phase is called late prophase here the chromosomes it attached to the fibers this is called metaphase and this phase is called anaphase here the chromosome separates at the centromere you can see how the chromosomes is separated from the centromere and this phase is called telophase here the chromosome is totally separated and finally the cell is divided into two so it contains two nucleus you can see over here it contains a two nucleus thank you for watching from gtech